what hunts the nightmares of all Chinese and American tankers. It is the number 9 entry on my list of top 10 favorite World of Tanks vehicles. It is this beast, the IO Heavy Tank. I mean, look at this village here, look at it. This village no longer has any future because the IO is here to erase it from the face of, face of history. So yeah, in reality the IO tank was never completed, mainly because it would have had to weigh 150 tons and, you know, required God how much material in order to finish it. I mean, do you see that cannon that the uh, IO has? That's, uh, I think it's a 150 millimeter cannon. It's the uh, Type 96 howitzer and the Japanese only built like a 440 of these howitzers. So yeah, they, they never would have been able to uh, build even several, just a handful of these tanks because it simply didn't have the raw materials or the factory set up for such a production. But yeah, this is a tier 6 heavy tank and it's a very fun one. If, you, if you've ever played the Kiwi V2, this is very similar to it, just, just a very extreme Kiwi V2. It's a... Um, it's heavier, slower, and does even more damage. And yeah, also better armored than the uh, Kiwi 2. It can take quite a bit few more punches. So here we are in the level uh, Karelia. And uh, yeah, I'm about to kick some major ass. Yeah, yeah, this is actually not... Uh, the battle you are watching is actually not my best battle with it. Unfortunately, I did not capture that one on video, but uh, this is just a basic demonstration on how this tank is. Like now, you're seeing a basic demonstration on how the uh, how tough the armor on this tank is. He said at the very minute he got over 180 damage, but yeah, there again, blocked another. So yeah, like with many uh, blockhouse tanks, if you want to call them that, like big uh, chubby tanks like this. Uh, the armor efficiency, of course, depends a lot on how, how you turn or from which angle they fire at you, whether or not it reflects or not. But, uh, yeah, it's not uncommon to come out of a battle with this tank and, you know, having blacked, uh, uh, blacked, I mean, having uh, bounced like a thousand damage or something. But, yeah, as you can see, he is mighty slow. But, yeah, there are at least two enemy tanks on the hill and probably some more. And see, this is a heavy tank and a medium, I think. Yep. Okay, I just need to wait for them to get into range. I should note that the uh, howitzer is uh, not very accurate. It's your typical derp gun. But ah, yeah, as I said, not so accurate. But when you hit, it usually gets the job done. And yeah, of course, like any derp gun, it has a ridiculously long reload time. It takes uh, about 27 to 25 seconds to reload this. Well, in this video you're watching, it takes, what, 27? Yeah, 26 seconds. Of course, now my crew, is, I have trained my crew a little better, so now I can do it 25. Oh yeah! There we go. Okay, I want to re in uh, Yeah, just take note here. That was 779 damage in a single shell. So yeah, like I said, if you if I penetrate, you're gonna get fucking annihilated. Of course, the tank I fired at is another uh, tier seven heavy tank. So, but if I hit him again like that, he's going. He's probably gonna die. I don't know how much health this guy has, but it can't be that much more. Okay, there's a tank destroyer and... Oh, an ATA! Take that! Oh, damn it, he blocked it, but I think I got his track. Okay, now I gotta wait for... Um, uh, wait for another millennia to uh, reload. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's another thing about the IO. It's you subtract basically all the... Uh, oh, okay. He's coming! He's coming! Is he trying to ram me? <laughs> Boom! Ha 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 ha! Yeah. Hmm, that's actually not the first time that this has happened. 
in the hill instead. Oh, shit, shit. A tank destroyer. Take him. Oh, oh, damn it, I missed him. Wait. <laughs> wow, he actually tried to ram me. Okay, now the heavy tank is coming up on behind me, so I better go up the hill while I reload. Oh, yeah, like, as I was about to say, like the like artillery loves Japanese heavy tanks. They, they, we just attract uh, artillery shells. Shells left, left and right. Okay, I'm almost re almost reloaded. Oh, it's oh wait, it's, a, it's an M6. <laughs> Even better. Yeah, I ripped through that M6 uh, like it was butter. Okay, I better go away before the artillery gets me, because I bet you they are watching this very spot and waiting for me to appear. Yeah. So yeah, that is your typical battle with the IO heavy tank. And yeah, I love it because, yeah, it's just such a force to be reckoned with, even though you, like I said, even though you attract every artillery shell and every bullet that is out there it's still a very fun tank to play because you can just feel the impact of every hit that you make so well but yeah that was very fun i hope you liked the video and i hope you'll uh, if you liked it that you'll watch the other uh, eight that are coming up that i'm still working on but until then see ya have a nice day and like and subscribe and you know all of that Bye.